As part of our 6.2 release of the Threat Connect platform, Threat Connect is providing customers early access to the Threat Connect browser extension. The Threat Connect browser extension is designed with two user personas in mind. Intelligence producers, these are analysts who are responsible for analyzing disparate pieces of information and distilling it into finished intelligence um, that might be used by a SOC or an instant response team. And intelligence consumers, these are analysts who tend to go to Threat Connect when they want to know about something or better understand if an indicator is relevant to them. The Threat Connect browser extension can scan various online resources for potential indicators, including static and dynamic web pages, social media platforms, Google Docs files, Gmail messages, and even Threat Connect itself. So at Threat Connect, many of us are analysts or former analysts ourselves. And we know that each individual has their own sources and methods that they use whenever they're conducting an investigation. This means that our extension needs to work on a variety of different pages so that all of our users can leverage it without disrupting their existing processes. On an Alien Vault OTX pulse, for example, I might be browsing a recent pulse or some recent information that was added to, to a pulse and want to know if this is something that I should be concerned about or if this is information that my Threat Connect instance already knows about. So using the extension, I can choose to scan this page and I can see that Threat Connect knows about a few things and that Cal knows about a couple of others. Something that's particularly notable about the extension is that users who have the collective analytics layer, also known as CAL, enabled, are able to query the CAL engine to see whether an indicator has been identified by one or more of the many participating platform instances worldwide. CAL anonymously leverages the thousands of analysts throughout the world who use Threat Connect and distills billions of data points to provide immediate insight into how widespread and relevant a threat might be, providing global context that has never before been available. This leads to less wasted time on false positives, less alert fatigue, and more time spent on the essential things. We can see here that the extension can tell us a little bit about some of these pieces of information that appear on this page. Some of them have descriptions, some of them have threat assess scores, and as I mentioned, some are moved to Cal. You can also choose to have the extension show you where something appears on the page. So as you can see, this highlighted this IP address on the page here, and also gives me the option to move a little box around and kind of follow where things are as I'm doing my investigation. I can also choose to add things to um, a batch import list. Um, you'll notice that the items that Threat Connect already knows about, these are things that already exist in my instance, are highlighted in orange. The items that Threat Connect or my instance does not know about, these are things that Cal may or may not know about, um, are highlighted in blue. Again, we can choose to add things to the list directly from the page here, as I'm doing, or you can also select the extension and click through here. You can then click to batch import the selected indicators and choose whether you want to add things to an already existing group. So maybe this is part of an investigation that you are already, like is ongoing or you're already doing or you can choose to create a new group with all the selected indicators. And then once you click to import to Threat Connect, it takes you to complete the ingestion process using the existing create group wizard.